do something today that your future self will thank you for. Hi guys, my name is Claire Bentfield, or Benty, and I'm currently a freshman at Western Washington University. I went to South High School where I played varsity softball all four years and I was a center fielder. I played for 612 since around 14U until 18U. In the summer, I will be assistant coaching the 12U Navy team. And today, I'm going to show you guys some drills. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to grow hot. You can do this drill outside or inside, but if you plan on doing this drill inside, I recommend not using a ball so you don't accidentally launch it through a window. Alright, so if you don't already know, a good crow hop should look something like this. The first step to a good crow hop is your first step. You should time it up so your glove side foot hits the ground as you catch the ball. This will set you up for a quick and powerful throw. The next step is the most important part to a crow hop. After you catch the ball, you want to hop, bring your back foot forward and over your front foot while transferring the ball. This is where the majority of your power will come from and it will lead to a quicker throw and a more powerful throw. You want to get as much distance on this hop as you can because that'll give you the most power. Next is your throw. Now when you throw, I want you to focus on pushing all of your momentum forward so that you ideally end up facing backwards after you throw. So after you throw, you should end up like this because that means you're pushing all of your power and momentum forward and that'll get the bar ball to go farther. All right, now that you know all the steps, let's put it all together. Step, hop, throw. It's really important during the off season, and especially right now, to keep practicing these techniques and skills so we don't forget them come game time. So keep practicing and keep playing. I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. See you guys soon.